Let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Meet me in the overboss quarters. Gage? Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. No, oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. What kind of a mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could all being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry, everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look. Technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right, that's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just... don't screw this up. 
Hey. What do you want? <clears throat> Here's that ammo. Your thoughts? You point, and I'll shoot. Pretty simple arrangement. Your thoughts? This is a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. Your thoughts? Walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. That was all. Sure. Sure, we can. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. Giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. Make sure. Talk. Talk to this year. I kill every last man in the whole wide world just to have you by my side. Hey. So, hey there. You're Gage's little pet project. In my heart. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter. With Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. You call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm gonna do things my way. Whether you approve or not. Oh, yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, 
I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. I'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Hey. What's up? <clears throat> what do you want? Your thoughts? Let's get this show on the road. Your thoughts? Man, I could really use a cigarette. Your thoughts? Keep leading and I'll follow you. That was the deal, right? That was it. Sure. 